Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Surviving with Carrie. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you. So Scorpio, I'm so happy you're here um, to your reading. Um, I do want to say um, I send you nothing but blessings and abundance always, okay? Nothing but love for my Scorpios, okay? Nothing but love. I just really want to make that clear. So... Scorpios, I'm feeling really good, okay, about your reading. Um, we're starting off at a really, really beautiful, um, high energy, I want to say, high energy, okay, because I did pull out some cards for you to see where you were at, to see what was going up around you and what's coming up around you and what it is that you needed to hear, okay, so I got some beautiful messages so far with the cards I pulled out, so I'm going to get straight into them, okay, I want to say that some of you may be coming into or be already working on something very significant to you, something that's bringing you a lot of blessings spiritually and physically, okay, um, you are definitely, um, or you may be working to this or you may already be in your north node okay your life's purpose doing what it is you want to do in life and and you being in your life's purpose and being in your north node okay you're attracting a lot i mean a lot of blessings into your life okay these are blessings that come from learning all your lessons these are blessings also that you have worked for okay this is nothing easy i feel like whatever you're doing hasn't been easy i feel like it's been a long road some of you may have started when you were really young scorpio some of you may have also started you know um, I don't know, whenever it is that you started, you could have just started or you may just be starting. Um, some of you may want to go back into doing something you've been wanting to do for a while. Okay, whatever the case is, um, this wasn't easy. Coming into this period of time where you're at right now, it hasn't been easy. And I feel like you've been doing a lot of growing um, for a while now, okay? Because Capricorn, I use, this is about being abundant okay this is about even fame maybe even having a following of some kind this also talks about infamy right um but but overall what i'm getting is something very beautiful and you coming into your life's purpose you um basically you're entering a time of easy flow or at least many of the impediments that you are experiencing are being lifted, okay? So so just know that if you are going through a hard time, you're going to start coming into your north node where it talks about, you know, things are going to be easy, okay? So this is for the month of February 2021. Yeah, 2021. Whoa, I second guessed that for a second. Whoa, that was weird. So, <laughs> so Scorpio, I do want to say that... Um, I just see such beautiful energy around you, okay? Um, I do want to let you know that this is an excellent time, like if you wanted to apply for a loan or ask for a raise or um, something that has to do with your job and you're working this nine to five or whatever it is you're doing, you know, you want to raise. Um, I feel like right now would be a good time to ask for it. Now, follow your intuition with that, of course. But I do want to say that some of you may be dealing with a a loyal partner or loyalty in some type of way you guys are committed in whatever it is you do not only that i do want to point out one more thing scorpio that um whether it is that you have i feel like you're really blessed materially okay and materially excuse me and spiritually because um i see that it doesn't matter whether you have 500 dollars or less in your bank account or a million dollars like i feel like you um you are doing your life's purpose and you're able to be very happy with what you have because you are appreciative of whether it is you have, you know, a dollar in your pocket or a million dollars. I feel like you're, you internally, you feel really blessed. And, and I just want to say that you're on the right path. Okay, because you guys did get the Shaman card. And the Shaman card also talks about um, the magician, okay? It's like the magician energy in the tarot, which is somebody who brings and attracts everything they need, okay? You're like, um, I guess, a sorcerer as well. The Shaman relates to a sorcerer, a medicine woman, or man. I also want to say that if you're none of those, um, you may be a teacher, a director of some kind, a surgeon, a doctor, a politician. Um, you may also even be a poet, Okay, just because a shaman, a shaman doesn't just mean, you know, like a medicine woman that lives in the, um, you know, in the forests of Peru or whatever, but it can be anybody really, whoever works um, on expressing themselves or in some type of way that you help other people express their feelings or, you know, anything on that note. So it also means that you are a fearless student. All right, so 
yeah, those are just some things I touched up on. Um, one more card that you got, Scorpio, was, um, see, I don't know how to say this in English, excuse me, but this says, take your time to take care of yourself. So self-care is of, of utmost important around this time. Don't neglect yourself, okay? So in that case, I will be pulling out some self-care oracle for you guys. All right, well, that is all I have for you right now. Let's go ahead and tune into tarot to see what's coming up around you for the month of February, all right? So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. Some of you may have Aries in your chart. Okay, check that. Some of you may also be like a Cancer Moon. Um, that's something I picked up on as well. Definitely check your birth chart for that. But I just felt like saying that. Um, let's see. So, actually, you know what? I will be touching up on love too, okay? So, let me pull out some romance angels for you just to see what's coming up around you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. So, what's coming up around Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus? Scorpio. So, we get worth waiting for, okay? Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like divine timing is at work in your life in general. I feel like if you're waiting for something, a job, or you're waiting for things to pick up, if some of you didn't resonate with my little intro I gave there, it might be because um, you're just feeling a little bit imbalanced. You, um, But I feel like better things are coming for you. Release. Some of you need to release your ex. It, the time has come to clear your energy. So I'll put this there. Let's see the back of the deck energy. We get you deserve love. Okay, you are lovable. Okay, so some of you may be working on releasing um, stuff from your past that you've been holding on to a, for a while. Um, for, for others of you, I feel like you're going to meet somebody. Okay, you're going to meet somebody in the near future that's going to be uh, someone who matches who you are. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Let's flip my deck here because it's all... All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. What's going on with Scorpio around this time? I'm going to tune into your energy, Scorpio, and we'll go from there. Oh, no. So, <laughs> what's going on, Scorpio? Let's see. Okay, so some of you, um, okay, so I don't know if some of you may have just been reached out by somebody from your past. Somebody you completed a cycle with here with the number nine. Some of you may be dealing with some stress or, or sleepless nights as well is what I'm seeing. But um, with this two of cups, I see a lot of love in around you. I see somebody offering you something, okay, with the ace of swords. They want a new beginning of some kind. This may be an ex. This may be an ex for some of you. All right, let's see. So a lot of cards popped out there. I'm not going to take this just yet. Can I get some more cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. Um, overall though, I feel like, um, if, if some of you, if you have been stressed out, I'm hearing if you have been stressed out about something, okay, I feel like you have found some emotional balance within you. Not only that, if some of you guys have been in like arguments with your special person or you haven't been getting along with somebody, I feel like that's going to come to an end, okay? I feel like you guys are going to um, find balance. Um, I feel I feel strong communication coming through here. Or this can also be cutting someone out, okay? So take take it how it resonates, but I would release your ex. And Ace of Swords here, Scorpio, I'm seeing that some of you may be cutting someone out, okay? So, but overall, I see you doing well. At the middle of your reading here is the Two of Cups. Even if you may not feel it, sometimes you may, may be up and down in your emotions. It is that season. I do want to say that there's seven planets, planets in the sign of Aquarius, which is ruled by Uranus. So that can bring a lot of unpredictable mishaps or you feeling just up and down, up and down. And it's Mercury retrograde. So any plans that you may have may also be canceled or you know expect the unexpected but with the page of pentacles i see something new here i also see a younger person a younger person this may be this capricorn offering you something or it can also be um another earth sign okay i feel like they're younger than you um i feel like they want something stable with you yeah see it's like they're offering you something really stable i feel like they have worked on themselves i also feel like this person um they found some grounding within themselves and it, I feel like it took them a while to get out of their head. <laughs> it took them a while. Maybe this is coming up, okay? Maybe somebody here wants to reach out to you and you're kind of feeling it. You're kind of in that moment where you kind of feel like someone's going to come around and reach out to you. Um, I see this person um, 
uh, definitely someone someone's gonna extend their hand out and i don't know if this is um they're extending their hand out to help you or this is going to be you helping them but um i do see someone here um this can be with a job you guys for some of you this is with a job that you had when you were younger and then or or maybe um hmm Whatever this is, it's there's some there's a new beginning here, career wise for you for sure. This is gonna bring you a lot of abundance and a lot of happiness. I get two number nines here. I feel I feel like for some reason this is like a cycle. This may have been going on before, or something on that note, or may have happened before. Excuse me. Can I get clarification for this reading one more overall, please? Overall card for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Sun, and Venus. Yep, so we get the High Priestess. So that is telling me a lot. I feel like that's your energy, Scorpio. I feel like you know. Um, you know. You feel it. You know your intuition is telling you something. And I see the back of the deck energy is a reunion. There's a reunion coming. Okay, this may have been someone you released from the past. This may be someone that you've been waiting for. Take it where it resonates. I see two very distinct energies here. I feel like some of you, you're going to cut this person out. I don't feel like you're going to take them back because you have been working on yourself and, and you're very independent now. I'm seeing very independent, very beautiful. You, you hold your own. And so this person may be seeing that and now they want to come and step up and, and show you something or give you something this person may also want to propose maybe some of you are wanting to propose or you want a new beginning and i see someone beautiful someone single here okay this is like almost um someone who just basically has their own thing going on but i do see some weighing out here so whether this is you or this person i still feel like you're kind of weighing things out you're still trying to figure out whether you want this or not and um, some of you, like I said, some of you have a new beginning, um, whether this is career wise, your job, you, you got a brand new idea of something or, um, this is a new beginning here in the heart and center. Something, something that you're emotionally attached to. I don't think attached is the right word, Scorpio, but you know what I'm saying. Um, some of you may be blocking this out though. Okay. Some of you may be saying no more like, uh, uh yeah, see, look. This is someone from your past that may be coming back for some of you. This is definitely an air sign. Now, I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm not, uh, I mean, any air sign, to be honest with you. But with the death card in the reverse, I feel like just something is, is it's almost like unfinished business. It's, it's unfinished business somewhere here. This can be with a job from your past. This can be with, um with a person this can be with a family member wherever just put the energies wherever they go for sure okay i definitely feel like someone here has been looking at you and looking at every way and even though they're still kind of guarded i feel like they are definitely going to reach out all right with the page of wands here someone's going to reach out to you tell you something i feel like you're going to kind of try to ignore this or you're going to be in your head about it you're going to be like oh i'm busy or you're going to block this out or something all right so let's move forward <laughs> scorpio sun moon ascendant and venus let's get some mermaid cards out for you mermaid cards out for scorpio sun moon ascendant and venus i definitely see a new beginning here for you okay though whatever this is about i feel like you, maybe you have learned to release people and you know it's mercury retrograde it wouldn't surprise me if somebody tries to reach out from your past we get breathe a break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea we also get recharge. There's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul. Some of you may have been doing this or you may want to do this sometime very, very soon. Ambition. Set your sights beyond the horizon. So um, like I said, maybe right now is the perfect time for you to ask for a raise or look for a new job or something like that. Um, what I'm seeing though is that with another card that I got, the Capricorn card that I was talking about in the beginning, Scorpio, I um I know that I know wow. Okay, so <laughs> With the Capricorn card that I was talking about, I talked about ambition. Right now, you may have a lot of ambition or you may be coming into a time where you're going to feel very ambitious. And, and with these three cards here, four, well, your whole reading besides this one, I feel like you're kind of in your head sometimes about it. But you're definitely going to come out of that, all right? You're coming out of a cycle or something. 
and starting a whole new one. So you guys, what I get, wow. So healing, you get healing, allow light to enter your wounds. For some of you guys, sorry, before I forget, you're dealing with this uh, cancer here. Or you may have cancer in your chart as well. So with the moon card, again, we get something about your intuition. Your intuition, you're getting downloads at this time. I feel like some of you, um, you may be aware of this because I feel like you may be waking up from dreams is what I'm getting in the middle of the night and these dreams are telling you something. Or you're getting downloads, divine downloads of some kind. I'm, yeah, I'm seeing something here. And then forgiveness, set yourself free. So you need to learn how to forgive yourself. You're healing, okay? So right now it's time to follow your intuition. Your subconscious mind and your intuition are telling you something. And that's, you need to do more healing here, okay? Inner child healing, I'm hearing. Your inner child, see, like I said, I see a child here. I see a child. I feel like your inner child is healing as well for some of you okay so let's go ahead and pull out some of these lovely cards i love these self-care oracle so you get two you get watch a movie let's see the back of the deck energy connect with earth ground your energy scorpio so you get watch a movie and make music okay this be this could be making music or this can be just listening to music all right some of you may be, um, you can be in, um, excuse me, you can be like directors or you like directing movies or make making videos um, on YouTube as well. Um, and what I'm seeing here is that make your, there's something, if you do create videos or if you're a producer on, uh, excuse me, the words are not coming out for me for some reason. Um, if you produce videos on YouTube, I see that there's an idea or something you're doing that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Some, some kind of idea that you got maybe in the middle of the night. Or maybe someone shared this idea with you. All right, let's get your spirit animal for fe end of February, mid-February. Okay, I'll take these two, sure. Oh, wow. Back of the deck energy, cheetah. Okay, I feel like you may have been letting someone go um, who didn't know boundaries as well as what I'm hearing. Um, so we get turtle energy, all right? We get dolphin energy. This is intuition, and then we get you, scorpion, okay? Even though this is a fire sign, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. I get two water signs, and I get a fire sign, but this is also, uh, this represents you, okay? Fearless, intimidating to some, but overall fearless, all right? Like you're coming into your, your power here, your self-worth. Um, with the turtle card here, I actually can't remember what the turtle card means. I'm not going to lie. So give me a second. I never remember what the turtle card means. So Scorpio. So here it is. So with the Scorpio, I mean, ancient soul, you're grounded, you're trusting at home in the self, peaceful, adventurous, and productive. Very beautiful. I love it. I feel like it goes along with you perfectly. And with ancient soul and shaman, you guys, there might be some shaman lineage in your family as well. Um, with the dolphin energy here, the dolphin energy talks about intuition. Also, dolphins are very intelligent, okay? They're healers. Again, you're getting healing. Some of you are healing or you're healers, all right? And blessings, again, with the dolphin energy. I'm not kidding, you guys. Um, blessings, all right? active healer, strong spiritual practice. Some of you are very devoted to some, some type of spiritual practice because that also came out in your other card, the shaman. The shaman card talks about you're, you're a, a diligent student, okay, in something. So this can be just in school or this can be in a spiritual practice of some kind, the high priestess, your intuition as well. Um, some of you, um, this can, I feel a different energy here. So this may be for some of you or for all of you, but some of you are like healers, intuitive. You may be even tarot readers or something on that note. All right. So Scorpio, I really hope you enjoyed your reading. Actually, I'm being called to pull out some of these for you. So let me pull out some little sparks of, um, since you seem to have a lot of ambition. So I'm going to pull those out. You got a few, you got a couple passion ones and you also got... 
A kindness one, I'll start with this. Give up your seat on a train or bus. Some of you may already do this, or you may be doing this soon, or you may have to. <laughs> I'm hearing have to. Make a bucket list and do the first thing on it. I see you spending time outdoors a lot for some reason. With these three cards, it's very grounding energy. All right, you're doing some type, some kind of work outside. This can be just meditating or this can be physical work. Strike up a conversation with a stranger and see what you learn. Plan a steamy getaway. That's the passion one if, if, in case you have someone that you're sharing your love with. Because I see the two of cups. You're sharing your feelings with someone here. All right. And tuck a sexy IOU in your partner's pocket or bag. And that is all I have for you. That may resonate for some of you. Um, please uh, give me a like if this resonated. And I'll see you guys at your next reading. Bye, Scorpio.